blessing, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. I want to take you back to the message I shared with you. From the old apostles, prophets, this is the same Bible. They use this Bible. We are using this Bible. The generation to come will use the same Bible. The only difference which is there is understanding. That is the difference. The way we understand the nature of God, the quicker we tap from his presence. Failure to that, the same word can heal your brother or deliver your brother. But for you, things are not working. You'll be thinking otherwise. What type of prayer? Tell me the way. Sometimes people will be sitting there to say, ah, I want to talk to the pastor. I want to ask him the way he read the Bible. So that me too, maybe the way I'm reading the Bible and the way he's reading is not the same. No. The way you read the Bible and the way I read the Bible is the same. The only difference which is there is understanding. Because when you understand the nature of God, you attract the presence of the Holy Spirit. The supervisor of your spiritual life. You can supervise over this flesh. You can control this flesh in the presence of the people. There are people here. But the one inside, it is only Jesus. By his spirit. Praise the Lord. Do you understand the name Jesus? Hmm? I'm taking you back to that message. Do you understand the name Jesus? Hmm? I can't hear you, church. Do you understand the name Jesus? Are you sure? If you do understand this name, then that is good. If you cannot understand this name Jesus, you'll be thinking otherwise. And yet, the name Jesus is a gift of life. A gift to all humankind. In short, I'm saying he is the weapon against darkness. But Jesus must be part of your life. You too, you must be part of his life. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, you need to be part of Jesus. And Jesus must be part of your life. Yes. Because you cannot see him again walking in our midst. No, it's not possible. It's not possible to see him walking. Or when you are praying, you're thinking you see him, Jesus. No, Jesus must be in you. Through his spirit. Because you understand him. You know him and he knows you. You are part of his life and he's part of your life. When you eat chicken or whatever breakfast you took this morning, that thing is part of your blood. The waste to come out of your body. But the benefits of the flesh will be part of your blood to energize your physical body. You can stand for five hours. You can walk for five hours. Because something is working through your blood to energize your body, to give enough strength. Without eating, 
If we are to be like yesterday, you are in prayer and fasting, and this morning you ate nothing up to now, you cannot even stand for a minute. You'll be feeling this. You can try to manage before you know it, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you have gone down. Why? Let's go to the book of John 6. This is not new to all of us. Let's go directly to verse 53. Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, understand the name Jesus. Yes. I'm taking you back to the message. You remember I shared this message with you, maybe with a different scripture. It says, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Is it possible that if God Almighty can talk to you like this, and you want to live according to what you feel this is the way. Is it possible that you can survive? Is it possible that you can exist beyond whatever you may think about your future? Maybe uh, 60, 70, or 40, 50, 23rd. According to what you know, I'm hearing from Jesus. There is no human being who can live outside Jesus Christ and make it in life. Because this word is from his mouth. Unless you eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood, you have no life. Without Jesus in you, there is no life. You are just moving like a dead cop. Spiritually, you are not there. But physically, you are here. And I want you to notice. When I say spiritually, you are not there. Because Jesus is in the spirit. You are in the flesh. And when the Bible says, unless you eat and drink, doesn't mean that you need to kill Jesus and cook him and eat. Or you, 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 you take his blood and... No. When you believe in him, I'll take you to the scripture that will prove this is word. When you believe in him, he'll be part of your life. The blood that Jesus carried, that washed away sins, will be your blood. His flesh, which carries no sin, will be your flesh. Come on, people of God. I, I, I hope you are, you are getting the point. Jesus came with a pure what? Blood. A clean flesh without sin. So when Jesus said, unless you eat and drink, you eat his flesh and drink his blood, simply means we are exchanging. You get this life. I withdraw the sin life. Then we become what? One. Meaning, the flesh with sin, the blood with sin, will be destroyed. Instead of the sin of life existing, it is now the pure life from Jesus. This is why he said, unless you eat and drink his flesh. This is what causes a lot of, you know, confusion among his disciples at first. Because they were, how many? 72. They could not understand his language and his purpose. They deserted him. Because it was so hard for someone to say, unless you eat me and drink me, you have no life. To the kind of mind, it is beyond your imagination or your thinking. You see that person as a crazy person to say, no, how possible is it that you can eat him and drink him and then we have life and he's a human being like me. You need to understand the life of Jesus, although he appeared as a human being. He had that nature of God. 
He did not force himself to the world to say, okay, I'm God myself. No. He was trained by all means to bring you closer to his understanding so that you can tap from him. And the quicker you tap from him, the benefits you get at the end of the day as a child of God. Your life will become now unquestionable. No one can destroy you. No one can stop you. No one can frustrate you because the life of Jesus in you understand life beyond frustration. I hope you are getting the point. 54. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. And I will raise them up at the last day. Hmm. This is the major point in our life as Christians. Being blessed today or being rich today, it doesn't mean that you are living a, a joyful and happy life. No. There are two days in life that you need to safeguard. We remove the first day that you came to this life. Now, the last day here on earth must be secured. And you need to be sure that if I were to leave this world today, heaven is my home. He came to save, not to bless you. He came to do what? When you are saved, you are blessed. It is salvation that gives birth to all the blessings that we need. So understand the name what? Tell your neighbor that understand the name Jesus. As long as you cannot understand this name, anything can mislead you. The people that you trust can mislead you. I mean the people that you respect can mislead you or frustrate you or intimidate you. When you are disappointed by your fellow human beings, because you are not in the flesh of this world, you are in the body of Christ, you see life beyond disappointment. You see life beyond what? Disappointment. This is Jesus talking to you. Whoever eats my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life. And I will raise them up at the last day. Meaning, the end of your life here on earth and the time of salvation, you are with Jesus. And Jesus will never die. If I are in if you don't know, where is your grandfather? Where is your family members? They are no more. He is there. The man Jesus, who doesn't know how to fail, is a fearless man. Tadana followed him. His stomach was empty. And he, you know, when you are in the spirit, you see life beyond whatever is coming on your way. He said, if you are the son of God, turn this stone into what? <laughs> Jesus looked at him. He said, so you think I'm one of these human beings you are toasting left, right, and center? It is written, we answer Satan not with our language, but with the language from above. I mean the word of God. It is written, man shall not live by bread alone. Satan was lost. He was looking for another word to forward to Jesus. You know, spiritual people are disciplined people. I've been saying this. Why? Because if you look at the life of Jesus, before Jesus answer you, he will not answer you according to what you think he will answer me. It is the spirit of God in him that will give you the answer. Before you say it anything, he, he, he knows what is coming out of your mouth. This is the life you need to live as children of God. You live above the standard of this world. Because you understand the name Jesus. Praise the Lord. If you eat the, his flesh, you are part of Jesus. Verse 55. For my flesh is a real food and my blood is a real drink. Wow. My flesh is a real food. All this food that you are eating, how many people who are on medication because of that food? I don't want to mention any food here. How many people who are on medication, they have even now instructed to say, don't eat this one and that one. And yet, this is the food. You 
were eating before. You can eat anything if Jesus is part of your life. Whether you observe whatever instruction you know you are receiving from anyone, it doesn't mean that you live longer. No. In fact, the more you are observing those things, the more fear is gripping your heart. Oh, maybe it's this. This is why you see, Ah, ah. Fish mufu kusanga. Okay, but I'm never to live by a river. Are you going to buy another river? Mm -hmm. That is fear. Fear always changes our focus. What made Jesus to face, you know, the world and defeated the world? It is the power of God in him. He came by the power. Walking with power. Talking with power. You may come in number. You think the number of people who, who, you know, who make him to be afraid. He will face you head on to say, yes, it is written. Thousands of people will be shocked to say, ah, what kind of a man is this? Hmm? Christians are not like politicians. Politicians are depending on the number of people that are following them. Christians are depending on the power of God. The solid foundation is the Holy Ghost. When you stand there, there's nothing like tomorrow you are in power. Yeah, I mean, today you are in power, tomorrow you are out of No, it is a permanent life that you live for the rest of your life. Anyone can occupy any office here on, on earth. Someone is a minister today. Tomorrow is going to be a former what? Minister. Today, someone is a head teacher. Tomorrow is going to be what? A retired what? Head teacher. Have you ever had retired Jesus? No. This is why I love this man, Jesus. He always makes me happy. Even when I hear people saying bad things about me, I feel very strong when I feel the life of Jesus in me. Because I know that this is a dependable and reliable foundation. I understand him. Where people are dying like chicken, Jesus in me, can you kill Jesus? It's like you are killing the whole world. It's like you are bringing heaven down. Come on, people of God. Don't trust yourself or trust anyone. Understand the name Jesus. He is the way of life. He said, my flesh is your real food. If you eat chicken every day, you eat carpenter every day, rash will come out of your body. Go and see the doctor. He said, this is orange. This is what? Drink the blood of Jesus every day. There will be no orange. There will be nothing like, no, you eat too much, you know, the flesh of Jesus. There's nothing like that. The more you are eating from his flesh and drinking his blood, the more you are becoming stronger and stronger. And the people of this world cannot understand your life anymore. Not the people who are in the world, drink the blood of Jesus, women of God. That is the anointing for your... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Just drink the blood of Jesus. Once you do that, ah, it's a proper medicine for our marriage. This one can renew our affection, renew the community. The problem is that we want to do things according to this mind. This mind is totally blind and nothing. He said, My, your real, the real food for your life is my flesh, and my blood is the real drink for you. You can drink Jesus 20 times. That is meditation. Walking with Jesus. You enjoy life. Even those who are in power, they are, they are not free. Do you know that people who are being guided by our fellow human beings, they are living in fear. Do you know that? They don't know what they are thinking about them. But a child of God, who know the mind of, you, you need to know the mind of your neighbor to say, ah, this man, ah, this sister, ah, this brother, ah, these are the people you know you are with. You don't know them. You trust them. 
<laughs> That's why Jesus, you know, ngafiko po manifest kumo nefyo mtonto nkanya. Elu wakwe wati fyo le tonto nkanya tamuli uvuyo. Tamuli ishi. How do you know that if you are not on He is life. You are coming out from him. And you are living a separate life out of him. He, your mind came from his mind. Everything that you have came from him. And you expect him not to know what you are thinking? Oh, come on, people of God. He is the real food for your life. You can take any medicine without the involvement of his life. That medicine will cause another problem. The doctor will tell you, we need to change this medicine. It's like uh, this one has, uh, it's not working for you. They will bring another one. The other one will bring a uh, lash. They will bring another one. He is life. He is love. He is love. father sent me and I live because of what? The father. So the one who feeds on me will live because of me. This is now Jesus introducing you to this eternal life. He said I live because of my father who sent me. And everyone who feeds on me because of me he will live too. You cannot live without Jesus. You can argue with me, but you cannot argue with his word. You cannot live without Jesus. Whether you like it or not, you cannot live. He's telling you that I exist because of my father. Meaning you too, you cannot exist without me. Feed on me the way I feed from my father. I exist because I feed from him. You too, you need to eat from me. Then you continue existing. This is Jesus talking to you. Why do you want to live outside Jesus? I've been saying this. Human beings are a very difficult nature to control. Because they always trust what they think this is the way. We are failing to keep this relationship, lack of understanding is what is making all of us to live a, a hopeless life. He is very close to you. Every new must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. What we are lacking as Christians, more especially, let me just say church, it is the life of Jesus in the church. I'm sure you know that Zambians they love, you know, Jesus. But what we are lacking, it is the life of Jesus in us. Ngana utemwa muntu haba kuyuke. Umutumina piyama, oh, nariku temwa, nariku temwa, nariku temwa. There must be a way. Ya kwa tinomba mwa mwana na panga, pamo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen.
listen to 58. This is the blood that came down from heaven. Your ancestor had money and died. But whoever feeds on this blood will live forever. Oh. This is the blood that came from heaven. Your ancestors had manna and they died. Any food that you are eating today, you are going to die. But if you eat this man, his flesh and his blood, you live forever. As I conclude, let me take you to, let's go to 1 John. 1 John chapter 3, verse 24. This is 24. The one who keeps God's command lives in him and he in them. And this is how we know that he lives in us. We know it by the spirit he gave us. We became one because we keep his word and he gave us his spirit. Because he was not talking about killing him and it no. He was talking about believing in him and keep his word. And when you keep his word, he will send his spirit now. This is the way we know that, yes, we are in him and he is in us. Through what? The spirit he gave us. If you say you are a born again Christian, the spirit of God is in you. He gave you the spirit. What can heal and deliver? It is not the voice of a human being. It is the spirit of God. Jesus was not healing people using his flesh. It was the power in him. And this is the power he came to share with you and me. So that we became like him. We live like him. Even in his absence, we can still enjoy his presence through his power. He is present by his spirit. It is the spirit of God that can bring the whole world in one place. Why? The Holy Spirit understands your problem. Not only understand your problem, also can solve your problem. There's nothing like come tomorrow or next week, just there and then. The Spirit of God just, okay, this problem is coming from this side. We'll do this. Okay, it's okay now. Go back. Everything will be okay. That is the Holy Spirit. A human being cannot do that. Even if you have got a PhD, master's in theology, you cannot cast out, not even one demon. The life of Jesus must be part of you. The document that you have cannot talk cannot see or hear anything. But the life of Jesus in you is your eyes and your ears. This is the medicine for your promotion. If you carry Jesus, you are unstoppable. Everyone fear Jesus. The presence of Jesus cannot be contained by anyone. Not even Satan who can contain his power. No. But you fear witches and wizards. And you say you are a Christian. Are you a Christian? Even your neighbor who is an elderly person, when you look at this man or a woman, you are having a nightmare, seeing his face when you wake up and know, just a dream. You don't know who is using that face. Maybe it's your spiritual husband. is inside you. No, Abba, my Abba, the Valota San and the Lalana Ben. What if what have a spiritual wife? I live on Fiatin's Ocho Wishing. Sometimes you can even dream sleeping with your, 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 your brother, your sister, anyone. Satan is a foolish nature. It is only the life of Jesus in you that can make you to understand the type of life that you are living. Understand this man. He is higher and greater than our problem. We trust ourselves. We respect ourselves. The respect that we are getting from our fellow human beings, we want to compare it to the level of Jesus. Come on. 
understand your level and understand the level of Jesus. Whether you are rich or poor, you are a leader, you are a politician, those are temporal things. I, I, sometimes I feel for those who, who, who say bad things about men of God. Truly, genuine men of God, if you utter any word against that man and the life of Jesus in, is in him, he will not curse you or say anything. But the life of Jesus in him will defend his life. You can act with any profession, or maybe someone who has gone to Bible school and claiming to be a, a pastor by his certificate. But a man with the spirit of God inside him, be careful. Or a believer with the spirit of God inside that person, be careful. You may see that person as useless, nothing, you are working together, you are even frustrating. God is busy defending a case spiritually. It's just a matter of time. We are calling the unstoppable power, the unquestionable power. I am Makale Savi Kamishna Yaquedia Vikamuba Navaque. Ngatulen de Chalo Chonsenish Lenda. No Murunish Lenda. Indoshinish our punch. You don't know the power you are under, people of God. You don't know. A living church is under the presence of God Almighty. You don't know. When Jehovah Shama rise on his feet, I mean his throne, to defend your case, the whole entire earth will be shaking because of you. Think about the Red Sea. Think about manna. Can a human being divide a sea? No, is it possible? Did you come here for a man? She had much shima vechi a pami and panganda. To have that woman, she came at a kame. Hello, I love you, Lako. But you just raise a staff to say, "Huh? I mean, she ambo kukutina. Ya ambo kusajan. Ya ambo kusela. Selenko wapite ebe ni abeba tu panga. Ngawa chita possess nature ya kualesa." You become, you know, God himself in you. I'm not saying you are equal to God. No. The, 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 I mean, the presence of God will settle in your heart. And when you are moving spiritually, all those who are in the spirit will notice your presence. You say, ah, he has come. Before you enter the village, the signal is already there that someone is coming. Bambo kukira mumitanda. They know you spiritually. Not if you are in the paper. If any less of a number, spiritually you are naked. Baby, look, who fix you in the night? You are, you, 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 you are insulting us. Do you know who we are? You become Jesus. The, the human being, I mean, the, 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 the image will be like you. I mean, it will, will remain the same. But the nature inside you is God Almighty. Every knee must bow. And every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. Nothing too big for him. Nothing impossible for him. All things are what? With your heart. Say it. All things are what? In which name? All things are what? Thank you. God bless you.